video i am going to teach you how to save data to the database from an html and css form so this is um a form i have and basically presently the form doesn't do anything it doesn't send any data to the database it's just there now we are going to be um writing code that is going to be collecting data from this form and saving it into the database so i would like to show you my models.py so this uh is what i these are the fields i have in my models.py i have auto title description so basically anytime a user wants to add a new book it's collect the author the title of the book and the description of the book so that is the models i have and before um earlier before i started this video i created a book manually in my from my admin page so this is it i have frank bohan bonham and some and basically the fields are future so i created this book manually from the admin page the next book that will be creating is going to be from the front end so i want you to take note of something also in your form your index dot your um form in your html template i want you to take note of something let me zoom in each of these input fields make sure you give them a name you can see there is something like name here, name author, and second one, name title. Now, what exactly does is this, um, what is the significance of this? So this name is going to be like a unique, a unique identifier. We are going to be using it to grab the data from each of these fields whenever a user inputs data into it. So using this name as a unique identifier, we are going to be able to grab whatever the user has typed in into that particular input field and save to the database. So make sure you give each of these input fields a name and let's move on. So we have, we talked about what I have in my models.py. I have a module named add book. So that is fine. Let's now go to our views.py where the main um, logic is happening. So I'm going to start by importing the particular module that we need, which is add book for me, add book. So just say from the models, import whatever module you are using. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to say if requests dot method is equal to post. No, now why are we saying this? In my index or HTML, that is where I have my form. I gave the form tag a method of post because we are posting to a database, we are sending data. So that's why I gave it a method of post. So here we are saying if request or method is equal to post, then we now want to grab each of these um want to grab each of the um, data in different fields that users entered so we're going to say um if we check our models the first thing is author so we're going to say author okay author a u t h o r author is equal to request dot post and then inside here we're going to pass in um let's see the name i gave the auto input tag okay i gave it a name equal to auto so we're going to grab author and then the next thing we're grabbing is the title so we'll say book title and we'll equate that to request dot post and then inside here we're going to say title now I'm passing in title because the name we gave it is title. And then the last one is description. So we're going to say uh, description is equal to requests.posts. And inside this we will pass in DESC. Why am I passing in DESC? Because the name I gave it is DESC. So fine. So basically what we've done now is that everything the user has entered, we have grabbed every single thing and we already have it in the backend. So what do we actually now do with this data? We now need to save it to the database. So here, this is where we are going to use um, the module that we imported. So we're going to say new book. We're going to equate this to the model, which is add book. And inside add book, remember if you go to the models, it collects three things, author, title, and description. So what we are going to say is add book, then we are going to say author is equal to author. That is this author variable over here. 
and then the next thing is we're going to say um book and um, we're going to say title is equal to book title and then the last one is would say description is equal to description now this author title and description it's all from the models.py because those are the theory fields that this module requires so once we do that, all we need to say is just that we all we need to do is just to save it. We need to say new underscore book dot save. And we'll just save this. Now the final thing that we need to do is that we have not added CSRF token to our form. Now notice what happens when we try to send something to the database. Let me reload this. And let me just type in some random random stuff here. And notice what happens when I click add. It says forbidden CSRF verification field. That is because we didn't add CSRF token. So all we need to do is come to our form and put this percentage signs and say CSRF token. So CSRF, CSRF token and save this. So we basically we should be done with everything we need to do. All we need to do is just to return to our Chrome and let's refresh this. And let me just add a new book. So author Greg Howitz and then book you, you are next. This is an actual book. Then for book, book description, I'm just going to type in a random thing, a random thing. I'll say this is a very great crime. See our and thriller book and then once i click add you can see it sends it it's a sense to the database and how can we prove it let's go to our admin and refresh and you can see we have a new book named you are next and if we open it you can see it's exactly what we typed in greg Howitz for the author title you are next and the description is exactly what we typed in so this is how to add a new book to the database using um, an HTML and CSS form. And another thing you can do is that you can even decide to um, add your own, um, how do I put it? You can decide to add your own um, test cases or your own permissions. Sorry, not permissions. You can decide to add your conditionals let's let's put, put like i can decide to add conditionals conditionals and say if the um, length of the auto is less than something then give an error uh, or if the book description is the num the length of the book description is less than a certain number you can give an error so you can just play around with it and add um some conditionals so i'm going to give an example now so i'm going to say if um if length auto if an auto is uh, less than let's say 10 or no less than 3 we're, we're going to say um, return HTTP response okay we need to import that at the top so what we need to say is uh, from django.http import HTTP response so what we can say is return HTTP response. Uh, sorry, return HTTP response. And inside here, uh, all we can say is um, arrow um, author A T H O R name is two shots, and we can save this. And then if all we need to do is we need to write an else. So we'll say else and we'll push this into the conditional and save it. Now notice what happens. If we come back to the Chrome and refresh, okay. Uh, if you come back to the page and refresh and we type in an auto name less than three um, letters, if you just say like AY or something, and type in a random thing here and type in a random thing here if we click add notice what it says it redirects us to this new page and says error auto name is too short so you can just go ahead and play around with it and add your own test cases and your own conditionals to see which one works for you thank you for watching this video if this was helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up 
like this video um, share and subscribe see you in the next one